How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Columns tab and the Deep Links tab in the Expression Assistant. Now starting out with the Columns tab, this one is a little bit different than the rest of the tabs in the Assistant and that's because there aren't actually any expressions under this tab. Instead it's a list of all of the columns in the table you're currently looking at so that you don't have to go back and figure out what you named that column. If you can't remember if you capitalized something or if you used space or underscore, if you can't remember because someone else actually created the table and you don't remember how they chose to name that column, you can just scroll down, find the one you're looking for and hit insert. It's easy as that. You don't have to have a separate tab open. You don't have to switch between the assistant and your table view to see what your column name is. It's right there, easy to use. And that's really it for the columns tab. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's incredibly handy. I recommend using it. Um, next, we've got the deep links tab. Now, this one's also a little different, and it's one that's probably less often it's probably used less often than some of the other tabs by your average app sheet user. Now, the reason why that is is because most of the time, app sheet takes care of deep links for you. You don't have to worry about how it works because most of the time, app sheet adds all the views you need. But that isn't always the case. There's times where you want to link from one app to another or you want to have a link to form where you automatically fill in specific data for the user so they don't have to put it in themselves. If that's the case, this is where you're going to want to look. All of your expressions for how to do those are going to be down here at the bottom. You've got your link to app, link to a view, link to row, link to form, and link to filtered view. And each of these can actually be pointed at a separate app if you want to link to a view in another app. It's very handy. Um, now the top part of this are a series of URL encoded, which means they, uh, excuse me, which means you don't have to encode them yourselves, which is really nice, of a lot of the views already in your app. This is created, this list is dynamic, and so when you add or remove, remove views, it's, this changes dynamically as well. Now, this is a really deep topic that we could go on for a very long time and that's why we're going to create a dedicated video on some of the expressions you see here at the bottom. That being said, if that video hasn't come out yet and you have questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much and I hope you have a great day. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe and we're always trying to improve, so leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.